once you've soared a moustache, you don't want to go back and soar a paraglider. Soaring a moustache, it's hard to describe and you have to feel it yourself. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. Small wings, big smiles. But it doesn't mean the smaller the moustache, the more fun you have. It's absolutely crucial to have the right size for your spot and your wind speed. If the wind is light, it's much more fun on a bigger size moustache than on a smaller size moustache. We realized that we rather enjoy a bigger moustache than a rather small moustache. So it's always better to have a little bigger one than a little too small one. The moustache has a much higher stall speed than any comparable size paraglider or mini wing. But due to its high glide ratio, it still has a much bigger wind range it can be soared in. When choosing your size moustache, keep in mind the stronger the wind, the stronger the turbulences. High wind speeds need higher skills. Keep in mind, the bigger the waves on the ocean, the stronger the turbulences are that come off those waves. However, if you soar 5 meters, 10 meters above the ocean, you feel those turbulences already a lot less. But the closer you fly to the water, the lower you fly to the water, and the stronger the wind is, and the bigger the waves are, the more turbulences you get. The flare team's favorite wind speed is around 15 to maximum 20 knots on the water. More than 20 knots in the forecast on the surface of the water gets normally a little bit turbulent and it's not that nice to fly anymore. However, we have already soared with 30 knots of wind on the very small dunes, but this is kind of very tricky, turbulent flying. We don't enjoy as much as with less wind speeds. Soaring a moustache is so amazing. It's hard to describe. You have to try it yourself. I bet you're gonna love it as well.